What we have here is we do 40 taps and between 75 and 100 bottles. We try to stick around the 100, but we don't. all we do is craft beer. Um, we try to have the best beer from all around the world, and as well as support some local beers such as uh, Flying Dog, Heavy Seas, um, Stillwater. Um, and then we, we have the, the gauntlet. We have Belgians, we have IPAs, we have ciders, we have stouts, we have everything. Everything you could ever want. If you come here and you can't find a beer you like, you don't like beer. beer. Bottom Reach is at Alewife on Utah Street in Baltimore City. And Lindsay's going to tell us about a drink named after the owner called the Big Pepper. Well, to start is obviously the Big Pepper. And um, the reason that it's named after the owner, they call him the Big Pepper, his last name's Palumbo. Uh, we'll let the chef tell you a little more about that later. It's got house infused um, habanero and tequila, some grapefruit juice, a little simple syrup. And uh, I think there's something else, and I don't quite remember, but it doesn't matter because it's delicious. Now for starters from the appetizer menu is the seared crab cake and it's a little bit different because you don't necessarily have it broiled or deep fried so I'm really curious to see how this turns out and there's kind of a salsa on top and it appears to be blistered corn which I'm really excited about because I love any kind of charred corn and smoky flavor. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. Underneath, you probably can't see here, there's a smoky bacon green and it's got a really really distinctive smoky flavor but it's not overpowering it, it doesn't it doesn't overpower the taste of the crab cake at all and it tastes there's something else um, kind of like a like a that reminds me of pork and I think the chef mentioned that there was a pork skin dust so definitely something you should try and off the entree side of the menu, this here is one of my favorites because I love a good fish taco. And not only is this just an average fish taco, it's way better than that. You can probably see there's, um, it's a chimichurri, um, you know, sauce that's on top of the fish taco, but it's also marinated, so it's getting a lot of extra flavor. And it's a blue catfish, which is an invasive species, which is wild caught, and that's something that's really popular here that, you know, they use on their menu quite a bit. So let's, oh, let's get a good taste here. Mmm. I taste some chipotle, or, or some chimmy, uh, the chimichurri on the fish, but also the chipotle in the slaw. There's a nice cabbage slaw on top. And you get a great crunch, not only from this shell, but also from these little things, the sweet potato little uh, curls here. Mm. Now here's a dish that has a little bit of a Spanish flair to it. It's an airline chicken breast, and there's a smoked chorizo crumble on top of here. You can see a little bit here, absolutely delicious looking. Uh, there's some wilted spinach, and of course, a delicious looking pan sauce here on top of Chipotle chai whipped potatoes. I was so excited to try this one. And it's all the way. Everything I thought it was going to be and more. There's a nice Spanish tomato pan sauce here. And I'm just, I love pan sauces. There's no way to top off a delicious dish than using its own juices and its own flavors. We have Chef Chad at Alewife. And uh, he just cooked up some yummy dishes for Lindsay and uh, we're going to do a quick little interview. Hi Chad. How you doing? So um, before you came here, what did you do? Um, same thing, just lots of different places. We're not going to go into detail about them, but um, yeah. I've just been, I've been cooking for about 15 years at this point. So pretty much I live my life fishing and cooking and I'm going to continue doing that. And fortunately here, I can kind of bring the two together. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, we deal a lot with local seafood, which is something that's really important to me. Um, and we, we recently started doing a lot with invasive seafood. Um, we serve snakeheads. We're the first place in the state to do that. Um, we serve blue catfish on a regular basis, which is another invasive fish that we catch, um, that, we, that we get brought in that's hook and line caught from the Potomac River. Um, there's some others we've worked with as well. Um, and we do that just because it's good to help it helps our ecosystem and I think it, br it brings seafood sustainability to a higher level. Um, and with that, you know, we only use Maryland crab meat. Um, we support everything that we can do that supports our local watermen and helps our, our local economy as well. So your menu changes every six to eight weeks. How do you keep on top of that? Um, what we do is basically I, I kind of try to stay with the seasons and think about things that I like to eat during certain times of year. 
Um, we don't change the full menu every time, um, but we do pull some items off. We put some items on. Um, we do have some items, you know, such as our smoke burger, which has turned into a phenom of sorts because it's it was something that we sold five or ten of a day, and now we sell, you know, an average day 120, even up to 200 of them sometimes. Um, so that's an item that's never going to go anywhere. Um, but what we do is to try to keep keep in tune with what's going on locally. Is we try to work with uh, we try to source from different local farms with our meats and with our seafood and with our produce. So we we see what's coming in in season. I try to think of the things that I would like to eat, and that's kind of how it ends up on the menu. So right now, given where we are this time of the year, which is the beginning of November, what's your favorite uh, menu item? Right now, uh, we're about to put on a curry pumpkin soup with smoked crab. Um, and that's going to come on. Uh, the crab season is kind of dying down a little bit in Maryland, but October was the best month for crabs. So with October being the best month for crabs and pumpkins being awesome, um, we just try to deal with some pumpkins. But the curry pumpkin soup will be, be on very shortly. There you have it, folks. Thanks for taking the time to interview with us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye.